What's up everyone? It's your girl Dominique and today I'm going to be doing a quick makeup tutorial. It is 10 uh oh. It is 1040 right now and I have class at 11:35, so that means I have to be at least done with my makeup by 11:20, so I can walk across the street and go to class. I'm already dressed, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup very quickly. Um I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why I feel I'm nervous. I guess since I'm doing it on camera, but let's go ahead and get started because I'm wasting the time. So first I'm going to begin by applying a primer, and the primer that I'm going to use is right here. This is the black radiance truth flagship primer and it wants to act the fool today so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face for foundation I'm using my black opal um, true color foundation concealer that I'm applying is my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the shade Pure Beige. I'm not applying too much just because this is like an everyday beat. My sponge is not even like clean because it's still dirty since I used it yesterday and I didn't even wet it but it's okay. It's gonna get the job done. Like I have no time. Like what time is it? 10.44. I feel like the thing that takes the longest is my eyeshadow and my eyes. So I probably won't really do too much eyeshadow today. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of my Asia Wine Concealer. This is by Maybelline. On top of this, just a little bit. I'm just going to let it sit there and dry out just a little bit and then I'm going to blend it in and set um, everywhere I place concealer. Today I'm using my brow balm to fill in my brows. I will have a link down below in the description box to where you can um, purchase it. And you can also go to my website and check out the lipsticks that I have. Now to go around my eyebrows, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the shade Pure Beige. It's the first concealer that I use. And I'm just going to clean up my brows using this concealer. concealer I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to I'm not going to do too much baking but I'm just going to set everywhere I place concealer since it's 10 53 I have a few minutes to do like a little eyeshadow nothing too dramatic I gotta do something really simple so I'm just gonna do my look a mess a little bit for my leg color I'm going to go in my morphe 35 f palette and I'm really feeling this color right here and I'm just gonna pop this all over my leg As you can see, I'm bringing it above my actual lid. I just like to do that with my eye shape. I feel like it looks a lot better when I do that. And I'm going to blend this harshness out with my finger. And as you can see, I'm just blending it upward. And you can definitely just keep it like this. You could have applied this eyeshadow with your finger and just blended it out really, really well. 
with your finger it does like if you don't have makeup brushes or something like that or if you just want to do something quick it's so easy to just use your fingers but I do want like a little transition shade right here it looks fine like this especially as I put on my mascara and things like that but I am going to apply a transition shade so for my transition shade I'm going to use the same palette I'm going to keep it simple I'm going to take these two shades right here I'm just going to mix them together and just blend them right in between just to blend out any harshness that I may have not blended out with my finger and it's just going to add like a subtle a subtle transition shade Now I'm just going to apply some mascara, coat my lashes with mascara. I really don't wear false lashes on a regular basis, but when I do videos, I like to wear false lashes. It just makes my eyes pop a little bit more, and I just love the look that it gives me. So for this video, I think I'm going to apply some false lashes. I want to move back on and just like finish my whole entire face. I'm going to take this bronzer right here. This is from CoverGirl. It's the shade Q110. And I'm going to take this big fluffy brush right here. This is from The Pretty Bar. And I'm just going to add a little bronzer to the perimeter of my face, my cheekbones, just to add a little structure and some bronziness, bronziness, some bronziness to my skin. I do have a coupon code for these brushes down below in the description box, so make sure you check it out. You can get 10% off. And I do want to apply a little bit to the sides of my nose. I'm just going to pinch this big brush up just a little bit. When I'm getting dressed in the morning, I really don't use that many um, brushes at all. Or blush, I'm going to go into my Morphe palette and I'm just going to pick up this middle shade right here and just apply it to my cheeks. For highlighter today, I'm going to go into my Carly Bible palette and take these two middle shades. As you can see, they're my favorite and that's what I'm going to use as my highlighter today. like I need a little liner for my lower lash line and this liner is the gel liner from L'Oreal and I'm just going to line my waterline and I'm just going to cut this part out because I know I'm going to be all down in the camera so I'll be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some strip lashes. The lashes that I'm using are by um, Elore. I believe I'm saying that right but they're by Elore and um, I will have the exact style down below in the description box so make sure you check out your description box because I will have all like all of the information of everything I'm using and doing down below in the description box so make sure you check it out and I do have a eyelash tutorial how I apply my false lashes so I will link that video right inside this video so make sure you check it out it will also be linked down below in the description box but I'm um, just check that video out because I'm not going to really show you how I apply them in this video And for my lips today, I'm going to use one of my lipsticks from my cosmetics line. And I feel like I want to go for like a little gloss today. Um, I don't really want anything. I don't want. What do I not want? Okay, it's right here in my hand what I want to use. So I'm going to use this right here. This is a liquid lipstick. And it has um, sort of a gloss to it. is the finished look I hope you guys like the way it came out it is 11 17 so I finished well now it's then changed so it's like it's 11 19 now but when I finished it was around 11 16 11 17 and I feel like I did a good job 
I finished this look before the time that I had set. I set 11.20 and I finished before that. So I'm so proud of myself. Give myself a pat on the back. This is like a quick everyday beat. If you want to be glam, if you want to be extra one day, you want to just throw on a little bit more makeup than you usually do, this is the look for you. As you can see, I didn't do like too much like extra stuff in this video. Um, it's just like a quick, easy beat, you know? I didn't do all the bacon and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And look at that glow. Yes, ma'am. But of course you don't have to apply false lashes since it is like an everyday look. I just did it for the video and the fact that I just love the way um, I look on camera with the lashes. I feel like I look like I don't have any lashes at all when I don't apply lashes. I don't know. It's just me. But I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. Come on and join the family. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed like this video, like this quick video um, of me getting dressed and getting ready real quick um let me know down below because i can do more of these when i'm getting dressed for class and things like that but enough of me talking let's go into some slow -mos.